feeling pressure um, right now to show results in quickly. And that's a lot of the same pressure that we felt in 2004 with the bond agreement. It's that you know, we have to set up this, this framework for a democratic government and then things will be okay. There'll be a full transfer of power back to the Afghans. The national community will be more or less done. And that was exactly what we shouldn't um, have been doing. We should have been thinking more long term. We should have been thinking about how we're going to fill out these governance institutions. So you know, unlike, um, unlike six years ago, we actually do have the resources, the attention, the focus. And this actually is the number one foreign policy issue. But we need to make sure that we're not in such a rush to get out of there that we overlook these very key, um, key programs in governance development and aid delivery that will, in the long term, have a huge effect on Afghanistan's sustainability um, and peace. So um, any exit, in my opinion, you know, an ethical exit is also you know, pragmatic, is that um, we need to have adequate security for civilian aid work and more established norms of democratic governance. Um, and we need to see the strategy through and the clear hold, build, and transfer. But the build and transfer part will take much longer than um, you know, 2011 when we're thinking about doing a troop drawdown. And we do need more patience um, and not feel so rushed to get out of there if we want this to be sustainable and if we want this to be ethical.